Hi there, this is Todd at Biz Ladder. This training video is going to talk about uh, Wix dynamic data and how you update the dynamic data and dynamic pages on your site, specifically the content on those pages. So let's hop right into the site here. We'll go to our menus and pages, dynamic pages, and I'm just going to go to the top level properties page. Oops, excuse me, top level rentals page. There we go. All right. Now, there are always, almost always, multiple ways to get to the same section or same information or same setting on a Wix website. You can actually get to the content manager from your dashboard. I recommend just always accessing it from the editor. There, are, We won't get into it in this video. There are some things you can do from the dashboard, but there are some things you cannot do that you can only do from the, con from the editor. And you'll get a message when you run into that, but it'll just be frustrating. So just start in the editor. Head over to your dynamic page, click on your data set. This little guy could be anywhere on the page. You can see I drag it around. It doesn't actually appear on the site. It's only in the editor here. Um, so find that data set, click on it and click manage content. You'll get a pop-up for the content manager. This will look identical as if you were accessing it on the dashboard, but of course we're getting to it through the editor. And you'll see your list of rows and data um, within the the collection that is connected to this data set. That's important if you have a lot of different collections, a lot of different pages, a lot of different data sets. In this case, we have one, one collection, one data set, one group of properties. And there's a little tiny scroll bar down here. It's a little too narrow. Hopefully Wix fixes that soon. Uh, and then you can scroll all the way over. I'm going fast, but you can see, oh, there we go. You can see the different data fields and the data that's in there. So for example, uh, let's go, let's try and find one that perhaps, uh, well, bedrooms and bathrooms aren't gonna change, the property type's not gonna change. Uh, availability, there we go. Availability is gonna change. So this is a text field, that little T just indicates it's a text field. But really any field with a couple exceptions, you can just double click in as if you were working in an Excel file. This should look familiar if you know Excel. You just double click in there and there, then I'm not gonna change anything, but I could just type as if I, again, we're just working in Excel. Click on out of there and as soon as that change, uh, as soon as you can see that change inside the content manager here, it's on your site. You don't need to save, you don't need to publish, you don't need to worry about, uh, sandbox or, or publishing your collection that's a whole separate video that we'll get into uh, you can change collection settings here but you can see we've got that draft and publish here uh, default new item status so you, you do have some settings that might change that but in general it should default to just once you change it here it changes on the site and it's got an up and down scroll too obviously that I didn't show you, a little, another slightly too narrow scroll bar over here. Uh, and it's as simple as that. Just be sure to, to scroll, check all your fields, and be sure to note the format of that field. You can tell we've got a gallery type in here. We actually, if we keep going, we have a, a map location that requires a very specific format. We've got another cover image uh, field here. So just note the format of the of the column that you're changing and then just double click in there and go ahead and change it that's it any questions reach out